Anna and the Foxes is seven feet by five. That's over two and a half metres high and one and a half wide. I was asked to create a piece with a vixen among mossy boulders and California poppies, watching a hummingbird. The purpose of the design phase is so that everyone knows what's coming and changes can be easily made. In this piece, the hunting instinct of the fox was held in check. She now takes a more detached interest in the hummingbird. I'm creating the dye work for Ocean Spray. Ocean Spray is one of the most extraordinary flowering shrubs. The flowers are like Brussels lace. This is a commission of a huge amount of Ocean Spray. I'm using dispersed dyes here and these will be heat transferred onto polyester. I'm painting Procyon MX dyes into very beautiful silk satin. As you can see it's a different approach to the dispersed dyes where I'm painting into paper. All the flowers and leaves are made separately the ocean spray, California poppies and honeysuckle, so that they can be arranged in the landscape when it's all in place. The vixen has four cubs deep in the shadows. The dye work for cubs and vixen was painted onto paper and then heat transferred onto fabric. Several transfers were made that could be cut out and put together, creating light and shade on each animal. Finally, I made the Anna hummingbird with his iridescent plumage. With so large a piece, I work on stretch canvas on the floor. Beginning with the sky at the top of the composition, I worked downward, creating the landscape. The branches of ocean spray were formed before adding foliage. This is an exciting moment in Anna and the Foxes because I've been building up the landscape and now I'm just ready to place my first foxes. I'm peeling these off the backing paper for the glue, because the glue never sticks to it, and it gives me the chance to actually pin them up so I can see how they will read when they hang vertically. Now I've got the design here, and it's a matter of seeing just where they should be positioned. There are lines both on the design and on the canvas so that I can get the placing just where it needs to be. On a piece of this scale, making those decisions without the help of a grid would be very tricky. I'm just going to pack this little box into place so that it doesn't go wandering off as I built up the background behind him. And this is a shadow bank of moss and there just peering out from behind it, the ocean spray is creating the shadows and giving them a sense of shelter as they look out to both their mother, the vixen, and also to the hummingbird. And the hummingbird's going to be in the foreground here, drinking from the honeysuckle. Only after the collage is fixed with steam can I hang the textile vertically and see the final composition with all its light and shadow. <laughs> 